honey bunnies welcome back it's me jenny how is everyone doing today okay my loves i have another project to show you guys i'm so 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 happy to show you this project this turned out so beautiful i think this is definitely one of my favorite projects from the valentine series i am so in love how this project turned out i literally am just I'm looking at it and I just cannot believe that it turned out so beautiful. Um, and I want to show you guys how to create this. Now, I in, my initial my intentions was to create an ATC card, and um, I wound up doing something different. So I said to myself, you know what? Let me just go with the flow. I started creating this, and it just turned out so beautiful that I just left it the way it is. Um, so what I have here is. An idea on how you can send out some happy mail to your pen pal or to a crafty friend or you know whoever you want to send it out to um, it's more or less the same concept of a stuffed envelope but only like in a different version I just thought it just turned out so beautiful so let me show you what I have here and I, this video is going to be super long guys so I'm trying my best to explain this as quick as possible. So what I have here is this really beautiful, gorgeous Valentine's Day inspired little goodie envelope or, I don't know, box, whatever you want to call it. And what I did was um, I decorated the front, the front of this adorable little um, box with some really fun Valentine's Day inspired little um, decorations. When you open this up, you're gonna open this up this way and you're gonna open it up this way. And you're going to have some amazing, amazing little goodies in here for your pen pal. So here I made myself a little pocket and I was able to stuff a whole bunch of die cuts so that when your pen pal receives this, they are going to be so super duper happy and they're going to enjoy all these little die cuts that are Valentine inspired. Um, so I basically created this literally um, with some papers, some die cuts, some stickers, and that's basically it. Let me show you how I created this. I wish I could say, let me show you a quick, a quick way on how I created this, but I'm going to go step by step on how I did this. So this video is definitely not going to be very short video. I hope you guys are okay with that. All right, so let's get started. Let's start with the paper. The paper that I use for this project is this paper from Prima. I am obsessed with it. It's called Lavender. It is absolutely beautiful. And the reason why I chose this paper is because it's both the front and the back of the paper is um has designs on it. So in other words, it's both double-sided. And that is what you need to help create a better project. Double-sided paper. So that's what I did with the that's what I um that's the paper that I use for this project. One 12 by 12 paper will give you three of these little adorable um I don't know what you want to call them, but these little adorable embellishment holders, okay. Once I have my paper and I decided what paper I'm going to use, I decided on using this beautiful um, lavender floral paper and in the back has this really gorgeous, um, like just scripts and stuff. It's just really beautiful. Everything in that paper uh, pad is absolutely gorgeous by the way. Okay, so here I have one that's already made and here I have one that's a strip. You're basically going to use a plain card to your to use yourself to give yourself a template and help you guide yourself on the size of this adorable embellishment holder any plain card is perfectly fine okay decide on what side you're going to use first in my case I want this side to be facing me okay so what you're gonna do is very simple take your plain card you're going to measure your playing card against the paper and you're going to basically cut this in strips that is how I got this strip right here you're going to create three strips because you're able to create if you're using a playing card size you're gonna be able to create three strips which is gonna give you three little embellishment holders which is perfect 
Once you have that established, which I have here, okay? That's okay. I have this here established. You're going to basically use this as a template to create your little folding um, embellishment holder. You're going to use your uh, playing card, okay? And you're gonna basically See here how you're gonna measure this? This is the this is the playing card, right? You're gonna basically fold this this way, okay? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna fold it this way, and that's gonna give you a nice crease for the base of your little um, embellishment holder. For this part over here, once you have this folded this way, you're gonna fold this over this way. Okay, that's how, it's gonna, how you're going to create these three little sections right here. Very simple, okay? That's all you're going to do. For my little, um, kind of like a little bed, I call it like a little bed that I have here. All I did was I used my ruler, okay? This is where my, my paper is, is basically folded. I took a little, I, I moved my ruler over a little bit. Okay, to create myself a dentation, and I basically just folded my paper this way. This way, I have one little fold, and then I have another little fold. That's that's the fold that's going to create this little tiny um, indentation right here. That's going to keep your little embellishment box closed. Okay. All right. I think we're more or less okay with this part, right? Now we're going to embellish the front of your little embellishment holder, okay? So decide which side you're going to embellish. This is going to be my front. This is gonna go, go in the inside and my front is gonna go like this. See, this is my front. I'm gonna open it up, okay? This is where, this is going to be the flap that's gonna close it. And then my embellishment is gonna go right in here. So I wanna decorate the front of this little card right here. So what I have here going on with the decoration is very simple. I have this Valentine's Day little card that says love. I use a Starbucks gift card to create a smaller square so I can add it in front of my little embellishment holder. That's all I did. The paper that I use for this one is this paper right here that I had I don't know, for two years. It's from American Craft, and it's a really beautiful Valentine's Day paper. I'm going to add some dimensions on the back of my paper because I want my paper to have a nice little lift, okay? I love how this project turned out it it makes me so happy when something like this turns out so amazing right I didn't think it's gonna turn out so beautiful but it obviously it's just it really turned out really really nice okay peel your back of your dimensions And you're going to add this to the front of your little holder. Okay? Just like that. That's basically all you're going to do. To decorate the front more um, Valentine inspired, I have here these Dollar Tree hearts that you guys know I'm obsessed over. I'm going to add one heart on each side. And I'm going to add a pink one. The smaller one on each side of my little card. So I'm gonna add one on this side. And I'm gonna add the other one on this side, just like that. Okay. In the center, I'm going to add a sticker that I had for a while and add, and there are these stiletto stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna add this beautiful woman and I'm gonna add her right in the center of these two hearts. Okay. 
to give my woman a nice little beautiful girly look i have these tiny little bows that i already created i'm going to add this bow right by the collar of the little beautiful woman just to give her a really nice girly look right by her collar just like so see that over here, I'm going to add the word love and I'm going to use the Dollar Tree stickers that I have been using for a lot of my Valentine's Day series videos. And I'm going to use this love and I'm going to add it right on this corner right here. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sequins here and there. So I have these beautiful sequins. And you can add sequins, you can add buttons, you can add whatever you want. It is up to you. So I have some of these sequins that I want to add sporadically around my little front cover. So now that I added those sequins to the front of my car, look how beautiful that looks. Gorgeous, right? Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to finish off my car, my front cover with uh, um, adding some really fun um, bows that I made out of tulle. Okay, I have this purple one and I believe I have a pink one in here. I do, this pink one, see? So I have this purple one and this pink one, and I'm going to add these beautiful bows right in each corner of my card. So for the pink one, I'm going to add it right there. And for the purple one, I'm going to add it down here. And our front of our little embellishment holder is complete. Okay, that is basically all I'm doing for the front of my card. As you can see here, there's a lot going on, but it's absolutely beautiful. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? All right, so now we have the front complete. As you can see there, that's how it's going to look when you open it up. Let's work with the inside. Now, on the inside, it's going to be super duper easy. Super duper easy. For the holder, that I have here going on. I have an extra spare of paper that I have from this collection right here. And let's see here what I did with the little piece of paper. So I have this little, from the scraps that we worked on, I have this little piece of paper. All, that you, all you gotta do is just measure this against the size so that this over here can be kind of like a little pocket okay that's basically all you have to do nothing else so let's measure this and make sure that when you add this to the section it doesn't overlap like it's overlapping right now Okay, that's basically it. You're going to add some, um, you're going to add a little bit of double-sided tape on the bottom over here because what's going to happen is when you add this to your little, here, what's the cover? Make sure you have this in the right area, okay? When you add this to your little section over here, 
you need to close the bottom because if not everything is going to leak out right everything is going to fall out so make sure you add a little bit of tape to the bottom part of this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, basically on the side I'm going to add staples I'm going to add two staples in this end and two staples on this end that's all I'm going to do and that's going to create my pocket where I'm going to add my embellishments now to cover our staple now you don't have to use staple by the way you can always use a uh, tape or glue or you know whatever you want to use but I'm using staples now that's gonna create a little nice pocket to put all your embellishment in to cover my staplers all I did was I have this really beautiful um, lace all I did was I measured it against that little piece where I can cover my stapler I had glue it down and that's basically all I did so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the edges I'm going to add my ribbon or lace or whatever it is that you have and I'm basically just gonna trim it out and that's what you're gonna get I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side trim it out that's gonna give it a really fun look to your little pocket and when you close this you have these little beautiful lace sticking out it just looks very gorgeous and very pretty now the fun part begins let's stuff the envelope with really awesome things inside okay so here I have let me show you what I have what we're gonna we're going to be using i have this hello gorgeous from my mind eyes i bought this uh a few months ago at hobby no not hobby lobby tuesday morning i bought like four or five of these little packets and um i had a whole bunch left so i figured let me add some of these gorgeous um die cuts in here and they're kind of really i would say uh valentine inspired to me so and so that's what i'm i'm using i'm gonna add this uh polaroid little embellishment that I love to use in here it has this gorgeous bingo card I'm gonna add that in here and you can add so many things in here guys it's incredible this gorgeous little lady I'm gonna add her in there some of these um, just die cuts that are beautiful look at this beautiful lady right here I'm gonna add her in there Telephone with a little heart. That's cute, right? Then you have all these beautiful little tags that are definitely Valentine's Day inspired. I'm going to add those in there. Some more tags. I love this little kitty. So cute. Kind of like licking the little dish or bowl or whatever it's so cute i love that i'm gonna add that inside and then i have these gigantic cards which i love i'm gonna add those in there and then we have these um dollar tree sparkly gold i mean hearts that are just absolutely sparkling like crazy i'm gonna add those in there have this cute little bird and then i have this cute little flag and you can literally keep adding more stuff in here if you really want. I mean, there's still more space in here to add tons of more stuff in here. And that's basically what you're going to do for this section. We're done. This section right here, I decorated very simple and very easy. All I did was I added this Hello Gorgeous right in the center. 
with hot glue. I added this gorgeous heart on one end. And I added this gorgeous heart on the other end. And that's basically all I did. Now, I did not I did not decorate this section over here. If you want, you could. I decided to leave it plain. I did not do anything with it. Basically, that's all you're going to do. Now, you're going to come back and you're going to use the punch and you're going to punch a little hole right in the center of this area right here. Just a tiny hole. You're gonna go on the back, Back here where you have this little like bed, you're going to add a little hole right there in the center as well. Just like that. Okay. Basically, we're almost done. So the last thing that I did was I decorated this part of my little embellishment holder, which is this part right here. And all I did with this is I added a nice big heart right here in the front I added a happy Valentine's Day sticker Which is this one right here that I, I've been having forever. I had these forever. Don't even ask me where I got this. I have no clue. But happy Valentine's Day. And so that this is so that it shows, I just added it onto a simple little extra scrap of paper. And that's gonna go right in the center of my heart. little hot glue and we are done guys that's it and there you have it beautiful we're done all you have to do is string through your little string that I have here right through the little hole that we just created string that right through Okay, just like that. You're gonna take one of the strings, you're gonna pull this back. You're gonna take the other string, it's gonna go right through that little hole that we just created on the bottom. And you're going to basically close this like this. Okay, you're gonna close it like that. This is gonna go this way. This is gonna go this way. And we're going to basically wrap this around like this a few times. Okay, and we're basically going to make a nice little bow and we're done. And that is how you create this super duper adorable embellishment holder that your crafty friends can receive and that they're going to absolutely love. Guarantee you. They're going to love it. I guarantee you. And there you have it. And that's how you create this beautiful, adorable embellishment holder. I think it's so beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's just such a perfect size, perfect look, absolutely gorgeous. When they receive this and they open this up, it is going to be the most gorgeous embellishment holder that they ever received. You can actually write a little message here if you want. They can open it up and there they have all this magnificent goodies 
that they can play around with if they want. Beautiful, right? I think this is perfect, guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching me make this. I hope that you guys get some ideas and some inspiration. Let me know what you guys think about this amazing project. I love it. I think it turned out beautiful, and I hope that you guys loved it too. Thank you so much for stopping by, honey bunnies. I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.